Hey, Daniel of the Seven Seas. You know, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Uh, before I get, before I get into it, I just want to show you what I'm carrying today. Uh, this is the Les George V7 version three. It's been hard to kick this out of my pocket. Uh, it's just a fantastic, fantastic knife. But anyways, you know, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I just decided to just turn on the the camera and just kind of do. Just a uh, impromptu uh, little conversation or talk about just the knife community in what we as like knife reviewers, knife enthusiasts, like what is our role and what is our responsibility, uh, you know, to the knife community and how do we contribute and and just really add positivity and, and just, um, you know, just spread just... Um, whatever i don't know i don't know so very unscripted <laughs> but you know this is just kind of in response to what i've noticed it's been happening i think a little bit more frequently not really super frequently uh but you know overall the knife community is just an awesome place you know it's just people from different backgrounds different life experiences just getting together and just talking about knives you know just kind of sharing kind of their spoils and just what really just you know really makes them excited you know and we as a community we we love knives and we love to connect with one another and talk about knives but you know, over time, we develop like friendships and relationships. And, you know, we, um, you know, sometimes we share common uh, opinions, but many times we, we don't. And that's totally fine. And that's the beauty of this community is that we all have different opinions, different preferences. You know, we're all in different kind of points in our kind of knife collecting journey. You know, we have some folks that are just starting off and then we have other folks that are just been in the game for a long time and you know we have everything from budget to really expensive custom knife collectors and so it's that's what i love about this community is that we have different characters we have different folks we're all kind of connecting and getting together all around our common love for for knives and for gear and and all that but you know there's Sometimes, you know, there are situations like in, in life in general where, you know, there's going to be, you know, um, conflict and there's going to be um, things that come up that's going to really be polarizing, right? And uh, whether that's a knife maker, um, you know, sharing a, a very unpopular opinion or, or they behave in a certain way that just, you know, that just rubs people the wrong way, right? And so I'm not about like proliferating like rumors or stories that doesn't contribute to the knife community in a positive way right so what i wanted to do instead of kind of delving into all the drama is just thinking of you know just thinking about like what is our responsibility to the community i'm not just talking about knife reviewers um you know and granted i'm a very uh, a small like knife reviewing channel right um we have like people like you know uh, metal complex and neves knives and others out there that have a huge following that has they have a big voice and big influence to our community and i really appreciate the insight and their the thoughts that they you know that they share with us you know um but just across the board right what is like what is our responsibility you know, I think a lot of times what happens is that because we live in a society where we value free speech and we value opinions and, and different perspectives, a lot of times what could also happen is that a lot of you know, things could be very polarizing, right? It's either black or white, you know, uh, left or right, you know, red or blue, whatever, right? It's like, but, you know, life isn't so cut and dry right a lot of times right even when things happen in our knife community that just seems so like cut and dry a lot of times you know we don't know the full picture we don't know the full details you know we may know most of the details we may know most of the story but 
a lot of times we may not understand okay what caused this situation to occur maybe that person was just in the wrong state of mind for that moment right i don't know about you but i've had bad days right i've had days where just i wasn't feeling all that great you know or something happened where it just i said something in the moment that you know that was taken the wrong way or i communicated it the wrong way and i look back and i'm like dang i should have I, I should have thought twice about that, right? We've all made mistakes, right? But anyway, going back to the question, I've really been thinking, you know, just for me personally, like, regardless of whether I have a small channel or a big channel, like, there is a certain, I think, a responsibility uh, to to the community, right? Um, and to people in general. And so I know at the end of the day, we're just reviewing knives. You know, we're just talking about knives, like, no one is gonna die um you know i have some you know friends and acquaintances that work in certain industries where if they make a mistake like people will get hurt and or they'll lose out on a lot of money that was invested in certain projects right now right so there's like a there's these huge consequences but generally speaking like the stuff that we do you know it's all for fun right it's all to like you know just have conversation and have relationships around like our common um hobby right uh which is knives right uh but yeah sorry this is a long-winded way of saying like i think regardless of the fact that we live in a society where generally we have the ability to speak our mind and our share our opinions and our perspectives you know i think it's also important to consider like you know to ask the question of like what i what i'm about to share what i'm about to say you know how will it impact the person that's receiving you know what i'm saying or listening to what i'm saying right i think we focus a lot on our freedoms right but we don't tend to uh focus a lot on our responsibilities as well right you know because with freedoms you know there's also uh, responsibilities there's also things that we need to consider on how it's going to impact the people around me right there's a saying that goes like you know sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me and i think that is a huge lie right because oftentimes it is words you know that will you know chip away at you it, you know it is the words that will it, they are hurtful Right? And sometimes we want to put up a front like, oh, I don't care what people think. I don't care what people say about me. But in all honesty, like, I'll just speak for myself. Like, you know, yeah, like sometimes it, they are hurtful, even from people that I don't know, right? Strangers. And so we have this culture where we're free to share whatever you want. Uh, and we're not accountable to the way that it'll, it'll impact the person that we're saying these words to or sharing you know, our thoughts too, right? And so I just want to like be really mindful of that, you know, especially with my channel too, is that, yeah, like I could just go and say whatever I want to say. It's my channel. I'm not making any money <laughs> off of this. Like this is not my main mode of like living. Like, and even if I do end up making money off of this channel, like I want to be very clear that you know, I want this channel to be respectful in every way. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to share like my thoughts or my perspectives on knives that, you know, I don't like. And that's totally fine. But I always am like conscious of the fact that, you know, um, that there is a certain responsibility. So with that being said, I know you might be like, Daniel, what the heck are you saying? <laughs> If this is not connecting with you, don't worry about it. Just skip over this video, you know. But I think for for those that are kind of in this kind of in this weird maybe space in the knife community where you're you're really kind of wrestling with, okay, as someone that may have influence or may have a voice in this community, what is that balance of sharing my perspective, my thoughts and opinions? with that what there was responsibility of, of realizing that there is impact to what i'm sharing right and so you know i don't want to speak into any like specific drama or or situation that's happening but i know that there are some folks in the community that are really trying to you know um 
hold people accountable, right? Especially like these big knife makers or knife companies, right? Um, that may do something or say something that is just like, okay, I don't think that's right. I, I truly believe that it is important to hold all of us accountable, right? Including myself, you know? So if I am to say or do something that is just plain wrong, like I expect to be held accountable to that, right? But I think sometimes what happens is that, um, and I, I, I'm gonna say this for folks that have a way bigger following. I don't think, honestly, my YouTube channel is just small beans, right? So, but for those that are, that have a huge following, that that is a major voice in our community. I, I think there is a certain level of, you know, like what you say and the thoughts that you share hold a lot more weight, right? Regardless of whether you care about that or not, I think at the end of the day, the reality is that, you know, there is, you do have a wider kind of influence, right? You have a wider reach, right? And so people are more willing to give weight to your your thoughts and your words, right? And so I'm just been wondering, like, for those that are in that position, like, what is, what, what uh, role do you guys see in um, the, you know, the fact that we live in a society where we could share our, our, our opinions and our perspectives with balancing that with uh, the responsibility of knowing that you hold a lot of weight and influence and then couple that with uh, the, uh, the role of holding folks accountable, right? And so I think the beauty of social media, I know there's a lot of ugliness to it as well, but I think one of the beauties of social media is that it allows folks to have a wider reach, but also um, it can also be used as a tool to hold people accountable, right? Or hold companies accountable, especially when they're starting to put out uh, products that are um, maybe you know below par quality wise or just straight up dangerous, right? Or unsafe, right? So I feel like social media can be used as a very positive tool. Um, so with that being said, I'm just kind of, I've just been really thinking about that, you know, just what is the role for us that make content, that share stuff on social media? You know, is it, do we just go about our day and just continue just to review knives and just leave it at that? Because I'll be honest, honestly, that's, I started, I'm in that place right now where I don't want to get into, um, you know, drama. I don't want to like speak into, um, just issues that are going on in the knife community, but I, but I'm, I'm starting to change that opinion because I realize that as we get more closely connected, you know, in the knife community and relationships, it becomes far more than just about knives and about steels and about the latest and greatest products coming out, right? I think what makes this knife community so meaningful is that we start by connecting with knives, you know, but then we end up having, you know, forming friendships and relationships that that go far beyond that where we're able to encourage one another and we're able to share life things that are happening right because right i'm I, as you you you're aware like life is way more than <laughs> than knives right it's way more than doing gear reviews like as soon as i turn off this camera like i have to deal with life both the the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly, right? And I'm sure you have to deal with that as well, right? And so what tends to happen is as we kind of continue to connect and engage, right? We start to get into each other's lives, right? And so I real, you know, I'm, I'm starting to realize that, okay, maybe it's not just about reviewing knives and talking about products that are going to come and go, right? These things, at the end of the day, like, honestly, I don't think they really matter, uh, if we were to die tomorrow, I'm not going to be thinking about this Les George visa, you know? I might be buried with it. I might tell my loved one to put it in my casket, right? But I honestly, it, there's going to be, I'm not going to be thinking about all the knives that I've collected or used. I'm going to be wishing that I'm with my loved ones, that 
I'm gonna be thinking, oh, did I make a positive impact in this in, in this world and to the people that are around me, right? That's what I'm gonna be thinking about, right? So I realized that, you know, um, it is important, I think, to um, go beyond just about talking knives, but talking about some of the things that may be uh, bothering the knife community or maybe kind of just people are like struggling with, right? Uh, especially when it comes to like behavior that's compromising or that's just straight up not right. Uh, so I hope it made sense. You know, you, your perspective may be different and I, I totally want to respect that. Um, and I, my, my personal goal, right, uh, for this channel is that I I want to be a positive contribution to any community that I'm a part of, whether it's a knife community or whatever other community, you know. Uh, I'm involved in other things, you know. Uh, one of my other hobbies is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know. And and so, you know, in, even in that community, you know, um, I want to make sure that I have good sportsmanship, that I'm not hurting people more than um, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is like you're gonna inherently gonna be in very awkward, uncomfortable positions, right? Because you're choking out folks, you're putting stress on people's joints. That's kind of part of the game. But I, my intent is never to like choke someone out till they to their unconscious or break someone's arm, right? That's not ever. I don't ever want to do that. Like even if I was to go be in a street fight with somebody and they're trying to hurt me, like I don't want to hurt you you know i don't want to hurt that uh, the aggressor but i know that i have the tool set to be able to at least make it very hard for that person to to um to do me wrong right but anyways kind of same goes i think with the knife community is that like there's gonna th there's gonna be things that happen right in our community we're made up of very imperfect people that we mess up like we mess up every day. We say stupid things. We treat the people that we love like wrong. You know, we have bad days, right? And and so things happen and and I want to I don't want to like just be measured in the way I approach it, but I want to come with the understanding like dude, like I have I've made mistakes. You know, I've made, I make mistakes every day. I'm sure as, as soon as I turn off this camera, I'm going to make a mistake, right? And so I think there is a way for us to hold each other accountable. But I think also, we, I, I believe we could do it in a way that's going to actually build each other up. That's going to add to our community. You know, I think for far too long, we're, we break each other down so quick. Um, and we pass judgment on each other so quick and all in the name of accountability, right? And we don't give folks uh, the chance to, um, you know, share their side of the story. Maybe we do. Actually, no, we're, we're better at that, actually. But I think sometimes we're quick to jump the gun in terms of, of assuming a lot of things and making judgment on people and, and folks, right? Uh, and so... While I, I'm all for holding people accountable and and for taking ownership of, you know, your mistakes, you know, my mistakes, you know, um, I believe that, you know, there's always people can redeem themselves, you know, that people can come back from mistakes, from the pit, from the ground and and rebuild trust if they are willing to put in the work. And the time to for folks giving pe uh, people a chance to rebuild their trust in you or me right after a mistake has happened right and so this is a long-winded way of me saying that you know i'm very grateful for this knife community i know mistakes have been made i know uh things are said and there's behaviors that are terrible um and so there is a certain way that we can hold each other accountable um, and continue to build each other up. All right. So with that being said, take it for what it is. At the end of the day, I'm reviewing knives and I hope to 
encourage you in some way through my videos. Um, I hope to just uh, be respectful. Uh, I hope to make your day a little bit brighter because I know that sometimes you're having, we are having hard days. And so honestly, I want my videos just to brighten your day somehow. <laughs> okay. With that being said, um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, I'll talk to you later.